that drink, courtesy Master Stefan Scott, is called Winner. Vodka, orange juice, grenadine, and blue curacao. And the reason that that drink was presented this morning is because we are so happy to have Aaron St. Louis, the 2016 Soka Monarch champion, <laughs> The Voice. Yes, man. <laughs> Pleasure to be here. Hey, I am so proud of you. Um, <laughs> it, it's amazing. I think 2016 mm -hmm. hit you more by surprise than anybody yeah, else. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, um, even, even when I look back now, and a couple of times I'm, I'm trying to remember even recording the song or writing the song in the first place or in the initial instance, um, we had no idea that this would happen. None, none, none is nothing expected at all, at all. I remember in the, in the, in the studio um, doing, doing the, the final recording with Casey Phillips. And um, this wasn't even on our mind. I mean, I actually had other songs to release. And when I saw the response for, for Chester Life, it was like, Wow, I was blown away. I was really, really blown away to see it. I, I, I remember, um, and I, I hope we'll be able to show it before this, this segment is over, mm -hmm. but when you came on during the Christmas or yeah, Christmas yeah, yeah, season, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we heard, I mean, we heard the song for the first yeah, time, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I think I remember the guys, everybody in the background saying, yeah, what well, a yeah, nice yeah. song, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm a carnival man, and I did not see that song mm -hmm. picking up the legs it, it did. Mm -hmm. um, what, what do you think was responsible for that, Aaron? Um, I think at the, 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 the time Children and Tobago was in, that space, I think they needed something positive. Mm. You know what I mean? And, and, and that is the, that is the, the, the space I tried to, to write the song in. When I, um, initially, when I, wrote, when I was writing the song, I'd say, I had, the first line I had was from me, Wake Up This Morning is a winner. Mm -hmm. That is the first, first thing I had. And um, I try not to go down too much of a positive road or, or stick on the positive side because, I mean, at the end of the day, when in a fit, it was something to whine to, it was something to yeah, jam to, to yeah, jump up to. Yeah. And um, that is where the whole mixture of the message, but still having something that it could relate to. In the reverie, the reverie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. that is where everything really, really happened. That is how the, the concept really came into place. Um, so, so when I heard from him, because this morning is a winner, that, that is the first line I kept playing in my mind over and over and over. I remember going to the studio, and that is the only thing that I actually had. And um, I, I think I was coming back home or even in the booth. Watch out, Jaja. Ja. That's the first thing. That's the second thing I came. That just a line. Watch out, Jaja. Ja. And then everything just fall, fell into place. And I reached his part. I was like, nah, we need something here. I think there's a jumper part. Nah, there's a winding part. <laughs> and everything just happened. So, in yeah. terms of writing, in terms of the, the whole um, formulating of the song, that's really what I wanted to do. And I think, I think that's what the people are trying to be, to be really connected to. I, I, I saw you on the stage. And every time I saw you perform this song on the stage, I think your facial expression yeah, should yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what's happening here yeah, i mean yeah, I, yeah. tell me if i was reading you right i mean every time yeah. you saw people react to this song you were more surprised than i think anybody else um yeah it was really a shocker for me and, and i think one of the events that really really shocked me was the event um jam jam naked or mm -hmm. jam nation yeah and i ran out because bungee called me out i didn't even know Bun bungee was going to bring me out and um he performed and the whole place was in a frenzy and then Bonji was like, this next song needs no introduction. The song um, is, is a big song already, wherever. Mm -hmm. wherever. Mm -hmm. And he, he come and he walk over to me and he pass the mic. And the song start and the whole crowd just went mad. It, it, was, it was really a thing for, for a really an experience for me. Something I'll never ever forget. Sum it up, sum it up in, in one sentence for me. If you had to look back <laughs> at 2016 Carnival, 10 years down the road and somebody tell you, 2016 yeah, yeah, yeah. Carnival, what do you remember? Um, it's probably the most amazing experience that any young and upcoming artist would ever have. Yeah. Ever, yeah. ever, ever have. So let's, let's go back to Soka Monarch Night now, because mm. the song picked up momentum during yeah, yeah, the yeah. carnival. Yeah. Um, I mean, everybody, I think all the mm. big artists will say, well, oh, oh, oh yeah. Sanders, hey, <laughs> this is the man, this is the man. Yeah, and when yeah, they were yeah. saying it, you know, it was, it was resonating, but nobody really probably thought, I think, that you yeah. would have won it. Take me back to Komodak night before you hit the stage. What was the feeling like? Oh, oh. Um, a lot of news. Yeah. A lot of news. But the thing, the, the thing for me and what I what I felt worked for me is that uh, yes, this song was a people song, but it wouldn't be anything major if I didn't win. If you understand what I'm saying, it, it, it wouldn't be nothing, anything major if I didn't win because you know the whole Sokamona conspiracy or the, the whole thing behind the behind, behind Sokamona. That youth man cannot win that. He cannot win Soka Monarch. He's too young. Yeah. He's now come out here. First time. He can never win. Years old. Only yeah, yeah. So I had all of these things 
in the back of my mind, right? So, it, yes, I, I knew I was going to win. I was going out to win, not right. going to win, but right. going out to win. Yes. But it's, it's like I don't really have anything to lose. I don't really have anything to lose. It's my first time, I always have next to come back. I have the whole, my whole career ahead of me. And it, was, it wasn't really anything for me to lose. So I kept that in the back of my mind. And um, I remember preparing like just before, before the performance, and um, the person right behind me was Ola Tunji. And I, I, I was not getting ready to go on the stage, and he was like this watching me. Real serious. <laughs> I remember at that moment, that one I got real frightened because I was like, what's this man going <laughs> on? He really want to beat me. And um, I think what, what really took away all the news to me was when the Bob Marley video played. I had a right. video of Bob uh, Marley. Yes, yes, yes. And I really didn't expect the crowd to respond mm -hmm, the mm -hmm, way they did. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, I remember Bob, but I don't know if you saw it, but Bob, yeah, 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 Bob Marley say, possessions don't make you rich. Yeah. My richness is life forever. The whole crowd. Yeah. It went, connected yeah, immediately. Yeah, it went immediately. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that, that, that summed it up for me. I just went out, sang the song, and that, that was the most important thing for me, mm -hmm. to just to sing the song and, and try and connect with the audience. Um, I let it eke up on stage. I don't know you if did. anybody noticed it. Yeah. But yeah, I, was, I slipped on stage. Mm -hmm. I tried to keep it together, but yeah, yeah, I slipped on stage. But I guess with all the oil and whatever from before, right. like blacks had a lot of oil and jubilee <laughs> things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but it's all good still, and we kept it together. And the rest is history. So you finished the performance. Yeah. You came off, as you said. You went out to win, but yeah. if, if, if voice came second, yeah, third, yeah. fourth, it wasn't no because, big thing. Because, yeah, initially for me, I, I don't think the result really mattered for me. Yeah. At Soka Monarch Finals, just be here in my name, next, next artist's voice, and the response that the crowd give, mm -hmm. the give I, um, I, I already won in my book. I already won. It was by far nothing I expected, not a position I expected to be in, and I'd already won the competition before I even performed, for me. The reality then yeah. set in that you won the next day, the 24 yeah. hours after, yeah. that you yeah. won. Um, what did that do to you? Emotionally, what did that yeah, do to you? I break down. Yeah, <laughs> I break down. I break down. It, it was at that point in time. I think it was like everything just coming back into play. And I mean, from from starting off in, in St George's College as, as just a joke, doing music as just a joke, and then um, going into El Dorado East and really trying to take the music seriously and um, entering synergy Sukasta. Um, Having, 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 I wouldn't say my failures because even now as I look back, I would say I never really failed. It was just preparation for future success. And that is, that is my, my motto now that I go by. And I, I try to, 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 when I reach out to the youth, when I speak to youth, I tell them, you don't ever really fail, it's just preparation for future success. Because now when I look back at Soka, Stan, all the other competitions I enter, and I may not have won, mm -hmm, it was mm -hmm. always a learning experience for me. If, if, if I didn't go on Soka Star stage and do what I did, and, 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 I guess scream or so, so to speak. For in Sukasa, I would I would not have, have have the confidence to come out in Soka Monarch and sing, actually mm -hmm. sing a song. So I mean, everything that happened for me before, just a little experience, and I give thanks for for, for all the people who, who helped mold my career, and um, me as an artist. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, my brother. Cheers. We're taking Cheers. a short break. When we come back voice Aaron St. Louis. We'll look back because he's now the 2016 Zuka mm -hmm. Monarch, but he just was explaining and just alluded that it was a long road to yeah. him getting here. When we come back, we share a cup this morning with Aaron St. Louis, the 2016 Zuka Monarch champion, the voice. Mm.